Welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm just going to be working on the inside of the car. So I'm planning on getting rid of all the piece of dirt out of there, getting rid of all the dust and then I will uh, be painting the inside. So here's the inside I'm going to show you. Um, it's quite dark but got the bumper in here at the minute. Um, it's really dusty at the minute so I'm just going to go ahead and remove everything and then vacuum uh, get rid of all the dust in here because there's been a lot of dust from all the welding <coughs> cutting and, and just from it sitting as you can see all the dust here a lot of dust and that's all just inside because I've had left the doors open now and then and it's all just sitting in so I'm just going to go take everything out vacuum it and then I should be able to go ahead and paint the whole inside and clean up, clean everything all up. Just finished um, vacuuming and I uh, gave it a little uh, wipe down with a wet, a wet cloth. Get any of the like just stuff that the vacuum couldn't get up. So it's nice and clean. I also patched up a few pieces that were rusting. Uh, also, I've done the, the back as well a bit. Um, so now it's all pretty much dry. I should be able to go in now and just paint the whole floor and it should protect it from the rust in the future. So it's the next day now and I let the paint dry uh, completely and pretty much all done now, nice and clean. So um, now that it's completely dry I'm, probably, I'm going to um, start putting all the pieces back in here, uh, probably fit the carpet as well. At the minute it's uh, like a light grey. So I'm going to be dyeing that a nice uh, black with some carpet dye and that should uh, make it look a lot nicer looking so I'm just going to go ahead and start putting everything back into the interior and just keep working from there. see it's uh, quite messy and nasty looking and then that's where I tried it with the dye so it's gonna be looking like that 
but I'm just going to go ahead and power wash then let it dry and then I'll come back whenever it uh, it's dried and I'll start putting on the black carpet dye. cleaned up so it actually turned out pretty pretty nice uh, so I'm just gonna let that sit and dry once it's dry I'm just gonna go bring it inside and uh, put on the black dye on it and then it should uh, look a lot lot nicer carpet's pretty much uh, dried out now you can see it's a lot cleaner than it was I still just don't like the colour of it so I've got uh, some black black dye. I hope this should this should be enough for the whole carpet. So you just spray it on and then dab it in with a sponge, and you just keep working it its way into uh, all the fibers, and then it should be it should stay on uh, nicely then. So I got the carpet all in, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the interior pieces back in uh, as well as clean up, I, I cleaned up all the, the dust and stuff out of here.
back in. So uh, the seat was the rail weren't bad, so I've just got that fixed. I got a spare set of rails from a different Civic, and I just took out the ball bearings from it and then put it into this one. And now it doesn't uh, wobble, so I'm just going to be putting it back in and putting it back onto the car. And then we should have all the interior done. So I'll show you. Seats are in. Steering wheel, steering wheel, steering wheel, that's all molded. And the back seats are all in as well. Looking good. So, just need to put this seat back in. And then that should be this area all pretty much, pretty much all done. And then I can start working on to do something else. All the seats are back in, interior pieces. I've still got a few uh, trims to put back in, but I'm not gonna be needing to put them on just yet. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna be doing. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to being able to begin driving this again. It's pretty much almost done for, to just basically get it back onto the road. That's why all the interior is back in. The next thing we'll probably be doing, trying to fix the burning issue which I'm probably going to be doing in the next video so I'm probably going to have to take it strip it take the head off have a look around at the pistons and probably replace the piston rings and uh, whatever else is needed so yeah that's all for now uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one